the best playoff coach is. Oh, this is going to get us in big, big trouble here, George. Did you write this question? Well, there's I, an obvious answer. You talking about? I'm going to squirm a little bit, but watch Bruce. He might squirm out of his chair. He doesn't want to answer this. I, you know what? I'll tell you what. If you go back and look, I'll throw some names out there. But the best playoff coach typically is the guy that has the best players. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I answered the question. Good answer. So I'll say this. I, I think the likes of uh, Mickey Thompson, Mike Burnett, Chris Haddock, Kyle Simmons, those guys, they've got the players, and they're very, very good at preparing for people in the postseason. But I'll tell you one that you better get your eyes on. You ready, Brucey? Here's your one answer okay. for you. The guy you better look out for, and this is Massaponics this week, is Tommy Buzzo. Because Tommy Buzzo's Brook Point team last week almost beat Massaponics, and they haven't won but a few games on the year. They have Massaponics again in the first round of the playoffs. Now, this is what I know about my old buddy Tommy Buzzo. He will not be outworked from a preparation standpoint. So whatever Massaponics didn't do well in, in that game last week, he'll have an answer for it this week to make it even harder on him. That, that might be the guy that prepares the best in the postseason. There you go. Well, call me a homer, and I am a homer when it comes to this question in local Loudoun County. Some of the other schools don't have the same coaches that they've had for the past 10 years or so. I'm going with three homers in Loudoun County. You mentioned two of them, Mickey Thompson, Charlie Pierce and Michael Burnett. All three of them have done it at two different schools, multiple state champions with it. Between those three, the run that they have had, I don't see how you could argue against any one of those three. And I and also, I don't see how you could pick any one of those three over any of the other two. So that that's my very much Homer Loudoun County answer. With all due respect to all the other coaches around, I think the three of them, because of the records, because of the trophies, and because of doing it at two different schools each, I think that they are shoulders above everybody else. And Michael Burnett, while you're out there, listen, I took off the Husky shirt. Now this is my suggestion for you as your new coach's outfit. We've got the blue. You know, we got both colors of the blue. We got a little white involved in it. All you need is that big old T with the point on it right here, Bubba. This is all you. Remember where you heard it. Remember where you got you know, it from. And just for, you know, if we didn't mention somebody, you know, don't be offended. I'll, I'll make one other name out there. You ready? Okay. I'll throw one other name out. Jason Raleigh. Dover. I think he does a great job in the postseason. Big time. And, Bruce, let me just finish by saying, you're going to have to drink a heck of a lot more Kool-Aid for Mike Burnett to listen to you. <laughs> a lot of Kool-Aid every week. I mean, you know, that one little sip. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't right. get it done, my friend.